Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an unboxing of a perfume from Louis Vuitton. So this is a true unboxing. I haven't opened this since I got back from the store. And of course, I've already tested it because these perfumes are super expensive. A 100 ml bottle in the Philippines already costs 16,000 pesos. And it's trying to open <laughs> itself. And what I usually do, or I guess what everyone should be doing, is they try out these samples, see if it works with their body chemistry, and if possible, test it on all types of climate, season, weather, and all of that. So since I live in the Philippines, there are only two seasons here. It's hot and wet. So what I do is I get these samples, and these are free, by the way, from your Louis Vuitton store. Ask your SA for samples. Or you can go to their perfume bar. You spray it directly on your skin. I advise not to rub the perfume in. Just spray it and maybe just let it sit around for a few hours. So it would also be good to see how it mixes with your sweat. <laughs> so if you're a sweaty person or if you live in a hot and humid climate, make sure that your perfume really works well with your body chemistry. It should also smell good when you're sweating. Um, so for those of you who live with four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall, I suggest you use the sample to test them for each season, see if it works well for you. I know there are a lot of fragrances that work well in winter versus those that work really well with you on a hot summer's day, something like that. Anyway, let's open this perfume. And this is from one of the... I guess the permanent collection and this is called <clears throat> Kyo Baton. Kyo Baton. <laughs> All right, and it's Eau de Parfa. This is the 100 ml bottle and it also comes in a 200 ml. But since these perfumes are refillable in your Louis Vuitton stores, then just get the 100 ml and then just keep refilling it for a fraction of the price. So as mentioned, this was 16,000 pesos. There was a slight price increase, but hopefully I will get a good use out of it since this particular fragrance really works with me and complements with my body chemistry. It also works with my sweat. So this just comes in carton and I think this looks like to be recycled so it's not the smooth traditional carton it has some imperfections let me just share with you a sample and the carton here is smoother and whiter as compared to the 100 ml packaging it's a miniature of this one Anyway, so let's open it. So the way to open it is there's a pull tab here. Yeah, you see the perforation. If you notice, they're like the same, right? <laughs> This is how the bottle looks like. Kale Baton has this orangey hue and tinge to it. And the bottom just says Eau de Parfum, made in France. It's 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounce. 
So it's here, Louis Vuitton. I think this is their address, Paris. And this looks like a product code. So I really love this nice cap. It has a magnetic closure, kind of strong. Okay, so according to the website, it says that Kyo Baton is a fresh pear and white flowers that waft you away into the whirlwind of life. Okay, that's too poetic for me. <laughs> okay, so like a wave of emotion sweeping through you, Kyo Baton is an invitation to listen to your heart and live every moment with passion. So Kyo Baton means beating heart. And the master perfumer gives body to this instinctive and passionate perfume with a luscious bite of sparkling pear, inciting you to enjoy life to the full. Then comes the perfume's beating heart of sunny Egyptian jasmine and sensual ilang ilang, bringing a sensation of delectable opulence. Highlighting this floral heart, but truly adds depth to the composition. A perfume with a compelling character suspended somewhere between freshness and sensuality. So they were right that this perfume is something that's probably made for more tropical, more humid climates. This is made of Egyptian jasmines. Egypt is quite a hot place, so I know that the jasmine will really work well for humid climates. Also, pear is something that's fruity and light at the same time. It's It doesn't have that obnoxious, strong smell. That, it's not something that will offend anybody's nose within a four feet radius. So it's light, it's fruity, it's something that you can wear in the summer. And if you don't know this guys, but the Philippines produces a lot of ilang ilang and I think we are a big exporter of ilang ilang. And I know that my body chemistry works really well with ilang ilang, but truly adds depth to the perfume. And I think it's a really good bond for all of the other keynotes. So patchouli is something that binds together the pear accord, the Egyptian jasmine, and the ilang ilang together so that you, there's power in it while being light at the same time. Yes, I definitely recommend Kyo Baton. If you're someone who lives in the tropics or in the humid weather, or if you're going into summer, and while I am not an expert on fragrances and perfume, I at least know my body chemistry well enough to say that this is a good perfume. One thing to note about this perfume is that you can have the bottle personalized. So Louis Vuitton is very good at personalizing engraving, hot stamping, and the like. So what I plan to do is have them engrave my initials here and the only way you can do that is you go to the Louis Vuitton store that has an engraving machine. So unfortunately, when I was in Greenbelt in Makati, their engraving machine is broken. So the only way you can have this engraved is to go to the other Louis Vuitton store, which is in Solaire. So I hope that I have the chance to visit there soon and have this bottle engraved with my initials. Okay, so that is it for this unboxing and a little bit of review. This is actually not my first perfume from Louis Vuitton. The first perfume that I got was Le Jure Celevi, and that one is a bit heavier and it's something that I don't wear on a daily basis because I feel that that perfume works well in more colder climates, so especially if I'm going to the office I'm going to the mall, going somewhere, I'm taking a vacation in Europe or in the US where it's colder than the Philippines, that is something that I would wear. And then for this one, the Cure Baton, it's light enough that you can wear it on a daily basis. And so the best way for looking for Louis Vuitton perfume for you is not to read and watch a lot of YouTube reviews, but I would really, really strongly encourage you to go to the store Spread some on your skin, leave it there for a few hours, do your errands, 
get some light sweat working up and smell it at the end of the day. Then you will know if that will be a good perfume for you. All right, so that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.